Hi, this is Soyazer. So today I got this in. This is the Yeezy 500. And it comes in a standard box for Yeezys. And I got my usual size, 11 and a half. It's the Yeezy 500 high. I did this review um, on the last one. And I like this so much that I decided to get this one too. Before I get into the review, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Push your support and let's look at this sneaker. So I think this is the second colorway for the EZ500 or 500 high. Base is pretty much the same as 500. The shape right here, they're pretty much the same. Same here too. But this is a high cut version. And I wasn't even sure if I would like this or not. So I bought this thinking I'll probably return it. But the way that it looks, I kind of like it. And it probably will stay with me. In general, I like the 500 model, and once again, this is not a typical color that I usually wear, but with the way that it looks, I really like it, and it'll probably stay with me. So, the toe box is a suede, as well as all this part on the lace loop area, all this brown. They're all the same fabric or leather. And there's also this black piece. This is all black leather. And blue is nail print. Same thing with spec. I really like the way that it pops out right here. The tongue part. This is also nail print. So the lace for this one is a little different from all the other Yeezys. It's not the standard lace. It's connected. And you pull this part. Interesting detail. Let's look at the back. Looks nice here too. And I don't see much issue with construction, no major glue mark or anything, or anything that bothers me with the quality of the construction. I really like the layering of the 500 model. Makes it a little interesting with the combination of leather and fabrics that they use and i'm a pretty big fan of a chunky sneaker and this will definitely be one of them the inside so this part it's pretty thick and also the collar is pretty high up so if you're gonna sit all day this part may bother you with your ankle because it won't be easy to bend this way. It is a little bit softer here, but it still will sit pretty high up. So if you'll be sitting all day, this might be a little tough one. You might have to take it off if you're sitting in office all day. I got the usual size for Yeezys, which is 11 and a half. I usually wear 11 on most of the sneakers, but for Yeezys, I usually go half size up. And it's mostly because this part is pretty thin. They are chunky sneaker, but they are tapered around the toe box. So if I wear my usual size, this part is a little tight and I'll have problem with my toe being a little um, too pressed down. And also was, and for me, since I have a wide feet, 
If I kept this with the regular size, which is 11, this part will be too narrow. So in order for me to in order for me to wear this comfortably, this part needs to be a little bit wider. And only way to do that is by getting half size up. I think 12 will be fine too, but by then it'll be just a little too long that it'll be just too big on my body. But as far as comfort goes, same thing with the 350s too. Um, 12 is a lot better for me. It's a lot easier to walk, but it's just a little too big that it looks a little awkward as far as the balance goes. But other than that, it looks pretty good. This also single color, a lot of textures going on. This is definitely one of my favorite models for Yeezys. Um, I got most of the models, except for a couple of the new ones, like the basketball, the quantum, and another model that I was never able to get. But I have every single one of them at one point. Um, I sold a lot of them out too, but I still have a little bit left. I do miss some of the older model, like the 750s and the V1 for the 350. But I'm planning but I'm planning to get those back at one point, so hopefully the price will go down so I could grab them for a good price. This one, on the other hand, probably don't have any hype. I don't think anyone really talked about it. And I believe it was sitting on the day of the release, so it's not gonna be that hard to pick them up if you really want them. So for summertime, this will probably go well with shorts. So it's a pretty nice piece to have. I don't usually wear high cut sneaker during the summertime, but I'll definitely wear this. Uh, one downside about this sneaker is that it's a little heavy. So if you are into a little bit more lighter fabric or lighter weight sneaker, then this might not be the one. It's definitely on the heavier side. And also, if you're going to move a lot, this also does not bend that well. So this is not really meant to walk all day or to exercise in. Also, this fabric right here, it tends to contain the heat, so it might get a little bit hot inside. So if you're wearing a really sunny or hot day, it might get pretty sweaty in here. So just be careful on those. I think it's a pretty unique color that you don't see it often, uh, mixed with different fabrics. So it's definitely a keeper for me. So let me know if you think this is a good sneaker or won the war sneaker by Kanye. And I think this weekend, the 700 is releasing, so I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support, and see you next time.